This is a flutter and flame tutorial to create multiple airships here with a randomized position that's going across the screen so the crow will need to avoid it. The first step is to create a random number for the y-axis. This random is part of the dark math package right there. Now we have the framework to create a random number. Here is where we position the ship and we're positioning it at 30 pixels down. It's X and Y. So we're going to comma right here. But we want the position of the Y to be random. So we'll go double Y position equals random dot next double. And we're going to multiply this by the size of the screen. So the up and down here is ref dot size dot y. We will insert this for the y position of the ship when it starts. So the ship started at the bottom, still at the bottom. Oh, okay. It, it is taking around the position. Yep. So the next thing is we need to set up a timer in flame and automatically create it at certain intervals. To create the timer, we're going to use a flame timer. So let's go over into the main game playing screen and right above the onload method here, we're going to create the base timer and it's from flame. So there's a, a flame timer that we're using. You could use dart timers too, but we'll use this flame one. And it's going to repeat every six seconds here. So we're added the crow, and right here we're adding a single airship. But we're going to use the on tick, so every time. through the, the tick, which is every six seconds. <clears throat> Guess we can just do that. Then we will add the airship. There you go. And we need to update it. So we're going to bring back the update method into the main plane screen. We can do update. There you go. So the name of our timer in flame is called interval that we created. I, I just uh, made it up and we're going to update it with the delta time. Let's check it out. So initially there's no ship, hopefully after six seconds. Oh, it appeared way down there. There's another one. Another one. And another one. Okay, it appears to be working. Let's go back to our game. The one that has the flame game right there. We're going to use a, another mix-in 
has collision detection. And then in the Crow, we can add a, a rectangle hitbox here. You will just add it at the top. Rectangle hitbox, and it's going to be big because the crow has these wings. And to see it, we'll set the debug uh, mode to true right now. You can also do this in the onload method. You don't you don't have to use the um, initializer here. Oops. So it's it's humongous, right? So we're gonna cut it down here. There's a method on here for relative. If you mouse over it here, you can see that the uh, the relation Well, I guess it's required. So vector two, and it's two numbers, which is the x and the y. I'm going to move it down after it gets the size. And the inner rectangle hitbox is much smaller here. So I think the airship is going to be a little big when it starts to populate it. So I'm going to cut it down to 10. And I'm going to use a circular hitbox. Circle hitbox. Anchor. We need to anchor the center. And the radius will be 35% of the general size of the airship. We're making the game a little forgiving, so it's going to appear that you know when they clip the edge, uh, the the player, the game will still be functional here. See what it looks like. And debug mode's off. Okay, so you can see that it's only going to connect when it hits this portion here. Let's go back to our crow. And we'll add the collision callback to the crow. Collision callbacks.
and okay. on collision start. Try set the game over to true. Okay, it's a little low. I'll go for the other one. So the objective is to avoid it, but I'm going to, oh, okay, I have to uh, delete the, the ships, hang on, we can just do it right in here. If, um, we want to first check to see the, the left edge, I never did this, if x is greater than zero then update it or game game wrap dot game over then Game over. Else, remove from parent. It's been a long day. Is there anything appearing now? Oh, okay, okay. Let's go for it. Boom. Boom to be working so what if I do that boom yeah it's gone okay it appears to be working <laughs>